rather odd location for a video this evening. I just came out to Liverpool city center. It's river of light tonight. I mean, it's been happening for a few days. It ends on the 5th of November. Anyway, so if you have, um, as a mix engineer, how do you approach mixes that you don't like? You know, say an artist sends you a song that you don't like. You know the song maybe has got... Let's just say you don't like it. Because the thing is here, with art, you don't have the right to say something is bad. It's like technically incorrect to say, ah, oh, this is a bad song or this is, a, um, this is wrong, you know? Although you might receive prints that go against every thing musical in terms of theory, the arrangements, the production, the, the everything, songwriting, you just think it's wrong. But, you know, in this line of work, you are not in the position to start telling an artist, oh, this is a crazy record, except maybe it wasn't properly recorded. Yes, you can tell them, oh, can you record this again? Because it's really noisy or it's really low or it's really loud, you know, it's clipping. But if it's a, a thing about the composition or the arrangement, you really don't want to start telling your artist that you don't like the song, you know? Because uh, you don't know what you might do to his or her confidence. So how do you approach mixes when it's like that? Personally, what I do is, is something that I learned from another mix engineer, Colt Caperone. He's a professional mix engineer as well. And he said, when he receives mixes that he doesn't like, like he doesn't like a song or he thinks um, it's just not his kind of music. He finds one element in the song that he likes. He finds one thing that interests him in the entire song and he uses that as a point of contact to the song. So he tries to build everything else around that element. So let's say in the song there's all these things going on, but you like the guitar. There's a guitar line that you really like. You pick that, clean that up and try to build everything else to complement that guitar that you like. And that's one of the easiest ways to get to where you want to get to in a mix. Because realistically speaking, your job as a mix engineer is to solve problems. And if you encounter a song with loads of problems and you can't solve it, that's... You fail at your job description, so you're gonna solve the problems. And this concept of using the element that you like is, I think it's the only way that I have found that works for me. Because the way my brain works here, yeah, regardless how much I was paid for the job, if uh, I don't find the song interesting or if I don't find the job interesting, I will keep putting it off and saying, oh yeah, I'll fix it later on, I'll work on it later on. And half the time, I never go back to the record. So yeah, man, I hope I uh, gave you a tip, a valuable tip that you will end up using. If you get a song that you don't like, find one element in the song that you like, mix that, make it clean and make sure. Nah, you're good, you're good. Don't worry about me. You're the YouTube leader. Yeah, thank you very much. How y'all doing? <laughs> Um, yeah, what was I saying? Find an element that you like, fix it up and build everything else around it. Peace, I'll see you again sometime. I'm out of here.